<laughs> Good morning, you guys. What is going on? This is Queen Esther of Queen Shimi, and right now I'm personally up here at the shop because I was going to hang up here for a little bit before I had to go take my niece to school, but um, your girl left her key. So, um, I'm just sitting up here right now killing time because it's pretty much located near um, Babe's job. So, I just feel like it was no point in actually going all the way home quite yet to go and grab her. Because um, I didn't necessarily have a client today, but I do like to get to the shop early just in case someone does message me um, and says, Oh, are you open? Do you have an availability? Whatever the case may be. And then, boom, I'm already down here in the area so i always try to do that and um but yeah this is an easier way to help and preserve gas so i figured why not just come on the camera and just start chit chatting with you guys um happy new year um if i had not said that already you guys happy new year it is 2020 and i am excited for what is to come um these last few years have been some of the most transformative years of my life and for me to only just be 28 um i'll be 29 in may um, I have been through a lot in my life and I know I share some things with you guys and I'm working on trying to figure out how I can share this with you guys. Um, so I guess probably the best way to do that is when it comes to my mind to just simply cut on the camera and start talking to you guys because I know a lot of things that I have gone through, you know, trials and tribulations, you know, ups and downs can, you know, be of some benefit to someone who, you know, might be needing some form of advice, you know, to help them get through a similar situation. So um, I think that's just going to work best for me because um, a lot of times these days I am really carrying my camera and I just need to remember to utilize it. Um, I don't know. It's different when you're your own boss because um, no one is making you do anything. It's like literally your own free will to get up oh, each and every day um, to right show now, up. Right now, presently, in a moment, um, what I have going on right now besides me being a hairstylist um i do run my business queen shimmy boutique and i'm working on launching some new products um this month in january prayerfully by the end of this month i would love to have them fully launched um another thing that i'm working on too as well but before I move on, to everyone who has supported Queen Shimmy Boutique, thank you guys so, so, so much. We hit our one-year anniversary on December 8th of 2019. So, I'm sorry, December 1st of 2019. I'm sorry. And, y'all, I am just so humbly grateful because I have, like, a ride-or-die clan. It's so funny because people who live here locally, they literally call my butter the Esther butter because everyone, well, my name is Queen Esther, but a lot of people know me by Esther. And um, it's just so funny because everyone was like yes girl you get you some of that esther butter and i'm like y'all it's the royal glow butter but i'm just so grateful to you guys for just rocking with me supporting me and entrusting me with your natural skin care um that's what i use on my skin each and every day matter of fact let me cut this lighting down some it seems kind of there we go yeah so as you guys can see there we go this is what my skin looks like presently um, I wash my face with African black soap and then I use the Royal Glow Butter to moisturize and that is it y'all. Literally, that's all I use on my face these days. Um, I don't wear makeup. Haven't worn makeup in the last couple of years now. Um, and really and truthfully, I only wear a lipstick and mascara and I just feel like that works for me and my skin loves it and my body really does love it too as well because I just found that no matter what I use, high end, low end, in between, it's just my skin was just not having it, so yeah so thank you guys so much for supporting me and my business queen shimmy boutique um yeah so the next thing that i'm working on too as well um is my third shop black pop-up shop and if you guys have not been following that page over on instagram or on facebook i highly suggest that you guys do please please follow it because i have big plans to expand this movement um the shop black pop-up shop i decided to host my first one last year in august of 2019 and it was a mad success people came out supported um i was just really and truly overwhelmed by the actual feedback and support from my local community because granted where i live it's not big we're not a huge city necessarily um it's kind of like one of those things where um everyone knows everybody you know and it's kind of like click gangs and stuff like that you know or 
you know people are just with their crews so i was just really um humbled and overwhelmed by the response that we received from not just only our first event in august but our second one in november as well um our second one in november was a little bit smaller and it was really due to the weather but we still had a great time you guys so um people have just stayed on top of me asking me to please keep it going they love it they love the fact that um <clears throat> They love the fact that they can come to a safe space of, you know, coming together collectively as an African-American community. We can come together as black creatives, black entrepreneurs, set up, showcase our business, you know, allow the locals and people in surrounding areas to come and patron the event and to also to, you know, to network and to fellowship, you know, and we have light refreshments. We have giveaways. We have music. I have like one of the dopest DJs in the area and she is a female DJ and I love her to and I'm just so grateful for people who are supporting me and what it is that I'm doing. Um, not every day is easy for me, but I am just so humbled and grateful to be doing this work. So that's what keeps me motivated to keep going and to keep doing what I'm doing. So it's been pieces of my life that has caused called me to have to step away from the YouTube world because I had to literally start to get more present here in the moment, here in my city, here in really and truly what it is that I'm trying to create for my life. So um, again, I apologize that I have not been giving you guys more video time, but really and truly, I have a real life to maintain and uphold. And yeah, so I am presently working on the third Shop Black Papa Shop, which is going to be February 22nd. Um, I definitely wanted to have it during Black History Month. I wanted the first of 2020 to be in Black History Month because I wanted that to kind of um, be the precursor for how the year will progress for all of us because, you know, Black History Month, we really and truly dive into our heritage and I really wanted this to be something where we could all really and truly come together and really fellowship, um, unite as a whole, you know, as a people, as a culture, as a heritage, you know, just to really and truly um, empower one another as we step into a new year. So it was just really on my heart and so after the last one, I just kind of just went ghost. I had to take a break hibernate um regroup and start to plan and so that's what i've been doing so um it takes a lot of work you guys um you know if you're wanting to be an entrepreneur you have to be really dedicated to what it is that you're wanting to do so whether that's you know like me a licensed hairstylist an influencer um an event um curator now um you know and my own business owner too as my natural skincare line so when you're wanting to be an entrepreneur you have to be mindful of really and truly what it is that you are walking into and what you're really calling into your life because if you are not ready it's not going to flow or really get going in the direction that you want to go because you have not really and truly put the right energy and intention behind it so um 2020 for me the word is diligence um and i hope that will be a word for all of us to be very diligent in what it is that we are pursuing and what it is that we are curating um uh, because if we are not diligent in our passions and in our crafts it is not going to manifest it's not going to come to fruition and you will not be the creator of your reality so to be very diligent in your thinking to be very diligent in your education to be very very diligent in showing up for other people and yourself as well being very diligent in knowing when to take a break and being very diligent in knowing when you need to step up the pace a little bit more so that word it came to me this year for 2020 um last year God spoke to me and he told me the word was move and that's literally what I was doing last year I was making a lot of different movements a lot of different changes within my life and I just needed to do it and I needed to stop hesitating on it so I'm still carrying move with me for 2020 but um really and truly is to move diligently so um I guess that's just my mantra for 2020 for myself so I hope that that will help you guys as well well um yeah so i'm just very excited you guys um because this has been very rewarding um i never thought that in the last 10 years i would finally be walking into a new decade and being my own boss um and actually um being in my power and using my voice accordingly um i noticed that i've always had a voice it was just in the direction in how i was actually using my voice um but i couldn't use it properly because i was still angry i was still hurting a lot i was still going through my own shit in a sense you know and um until you go 
through your shit is um, still going to be a turmoil. So I'm um, not saying that every day is going to be perfect, but as long as you show up and work through your stuff, then you're going to be okay. You can't just sweep it under the rug or keep trying to suppress it. Um, it's just best to just go ahead, acknowledge it, see it for what it is, work through your shit, and then move forward and be diligent <laughs> in your thinking your love how you treat people um the way that you just handle yourself accordingly just be very diligent and very conscious of what it is that you're doing so i hope you guys have a blessed and beautiful start to your 2020 um i just really wanted to come on here and just kind of chit chat with you guys for a little bit so um yeah i don't want this video to be too long but yeah you guys i'm excited for 2020 i'm excited for the youtube journey as well um because i really want to come on here once a week and post a video for you guys so here it is this is the first video of 2020 i'm excited to be sharing more of my journey with you guys i am going to start documenting more of like behind the scenes of like my day to day um of like what i actually do because i do try to plan my days out but um i sometimes i'm not able to stick to my whole schedule and i have to maneuver things around so i'm going to start sharing more of that with you guys um just so you can see really and truly what it is that i'm doing behind the scenes because people think being an entrepreneur is just kind of just lackadaisical you know just kind of just do whatever whenever and really and truly it's not that at all you have to have some kind of um um what's the word i'm looking for you guys you have to have some form of um it's right there on my tongue you have to have some form of discipline <laughs> when it comes to being an actual business owner because if you do not plan things out um yeah things will get lost in the wind put to the side and you'll be like oh damn i thought i did that and you really did it and you don't want to miss important deadlines especially when people start reaching out to you to be um you know a part of an event you know to help you know with some kind of input or things like that because people will start to reach out to you when they start seeing you making certain moves and changes so um i'm learning that too and another thing that i've been learning you guys is to um ask for help not saying that I never not ask for help, but I'm just one of those people where if I can literally figure it out on my own, I'll just figure it out on my own, but that's good, but it can sometimes be a lot easier if you just allow someone to help you. And I think my fear with allowing someone to help me is someone taking advantage of me because um, I have let people do that for me in the past, say, hey, you know, I want to help you, you know, things like that, you know, and I kind of step back and let them help me, but in turn, it would harm me. So, um, you know, you just grow, you just learn, and you just have to learn how to have that spirit of discernment to distinguish when someone is for you or when someone has ulterior motives. So, yeah, so that's one of those things I'm working on too. And um, yeah, because I'm just one of them type of girls where I will go and get it. I will not ask anyone for help and I will just simply figure it out. And once I figure it out, I'll just put it into action. But um, again, sometimes it's just easier to just simply ask for help and allow people to help you who want to genuinely help you. Um, because, you know, not everyone is mean, not everyone is out to get you. And, you know, um, yeah, it's a lot of people out here in the world who are trying to help one another um, because we see a lot of the good in one another. And, um, yeah, it's like the saying goes, you guys, you know, um, we often look at people and being like, oh, well, they're this person or they're negative or this and that. But sometimes it's just a reflection of you. And so um, sometimes it's something that you have to deal with on the inside. So for me, that was a fear of having to learn to ask for help. And um, yeah, and I did that yesterday. I asked someone, I bartered with them, and I was just like, you know, I need your help. <laughs> and um, yeah, and it was just so refreshing to see how people are just so willing to help you. Um, just as long as you have, again, the right intention, you know that you're living in your truth. And you know, as long as you're doing the right thing, then no one will mind helping you, even if it does cost a coin. Like, I'm telling you, it will be so rewarding in the end so i hope this motivates you guys as we step into 2020 please be encouraged pursue your creative sides your passions and anything that may come to your mind because this year i'm definitely doing that and um 
this last decade i have to say it was getting me prepared for this moment right now with where i'm at so i'm asking that god um or whoever you pray to um blesses you abundantly that they are walking with you on your life path that you know that you are guarded that you are protected and that um your ancestors and those who are still with us are walking right alongside of you speaking that wisdom speaking that love speaking that you know fruition into your life um and to help you with expanding your mind and your consciousness so that way you know god whomever may speak to you clearly so that way you may receive what it is that you need to receive so i hope this helps you guys as we head into 2020 definitely come back and watch this again um and yes you guys i'm excited for all of us i really and truly am because i can feel the collective whole we are all wanting greater and it's coming so happy new year you guys i love you um if you have any questions or comments please leave them down below in the description box and i'll get back to you guys as soon as possible and until then i will see you guys in my next video bye you guys